Hello and welcome. This is Ghost Dimension. Coming up on Ghost Dimension. I mean, it's probably a different story now. What I'll do is I'll put the bed hat on and I'll lay on the bed. Ah! Whoa, whoa, okay, okay, come on, come on, come on. Okay, I picked a man up. I picked a man up. Can you see that on there? Welcome, this is Ghost Dimension Spring Live and tonight we have a fantastic show in store just for you. And of course tonight we've got some fantastic footage again that's been sent in and we've got footage from Leeds Museum from when our backstage crew did their own paranormal investigation there and that's all exciting stuff that we've got tonight isn't it? It is indeed. Um, and of course naturally me and Bex we went to a haunted cemetery yep. and we did a live investigation a paranormal investigation in this cemetery and we're going to show you that tonight as well yeah why don't we show them right now yeah let's jump straight onto it uh, already I can hear footsteps behind me. So it's really so started uh, already. Yeah, that's, that's a bit spooky. Now, we are not going to be investigating graves being in a cemetery. It's disrespectful. And we wouldn't do that. But what we will do is investigate what we believe to be here, which we have been informed about, know about, which is the witches that reside here. And the love hearts are fantastic. Thank you again. Keep them coming. Okay. So. Um, we shortly will be heading over to do a seance mm -hmm. and we'll also be heading over to a part of the cemetery which is woodland. Now, there's, a, there's also, we need to tell you this, there's also a spirit in the cemetery and the spirit's name is Ginge, obviously because he had ginger hair and he roams the cemetery. He's buried deeper into the cemetery by a tree. We can't actually go over there because there's recent graves and we can't show them on camera. Um, however, we will call for Ginge as we investigate tonight and hopefully he will come through for us when we do the seance. Absolutely. And tonight we have got with us our infrared camera. So what we will do is turn that on Let's and we will show you, we'll point this camera at the infrared camera and we'll show you what we're looking at. <coughs> right now it's pitch black and can't see a damn thing, but uh, it'll help us guide our way through here. And it's just a bit spooky as we're here already. And basically <coughs> guys, what we want to do tonight is we want to involve you guys at home. We want you to be on our investigation with us. We want you to be here ghost hunting live with us on Halloween. So before we start, has anybody who's watching right now got any quick questions? Oh, we've got a question. You don't want to get haunted. Oh, you won't get haunted. Yeah. You won't get haunted. Don't worry about that at all. And we've done our protection tonight. We have. So no negative entities, which I highly doubt that would... Just yeah. shine that light over there. No one there. Okay. Okay. That was weird. Sorry, guys. Seems to be a bit starting already. Um, I think it's all this waffling. Yeah. I think we just need to get on with the ghost hunt. Let's do it. So what I'm going to do is hand over to Bex for one minute. I'm going to yep. get the camera on. Okay. So while Sean gets the camera on, I'm going to see if I can show you anything with the light. If I can... I, it's, it's that dark. You've got a tree over there. That's all you've got. Uh, I can't physically show you anything uh, because it's so dark. I don't know what that light is. I might... No, I don't know what that light is. Probably a light through the tree, maybe. I don't know. But tonight is going to be such a good night. We're so glad that you can join us. It's Halloween. It's cold. It's foggy. We're in Liverpool. And uh, Sean's got the light on. Can't see that. Where are you? We're in Liverpool. Is that somebody beeping for hey, us? Hey, hey. Hey, um, What we're going to do, we've got a couple of experiments tonight that we're going to start off with first. Yes. Um, we're going to head straight into infrared and see if we can see anything. Uh, happy Halloween, guys. Happy Hi. Halloween, yeah. Are you out ghost hunting too? Yeah. <laughs> um, Probably not. <laughs> we're going to use the infrared. Hi. Hi, Ray, you're right. 
How that are you? That was Ray Johnson. Did you Ray Jordan? Jordan? That was weird. So we're gonna, we've got a couple of things. Um, oh, we must mention before we start, in this um, part of the uh, cemetery where we are investigating, we've been around with a K2. We have, yeah. And it seems to be mid-air activity. Now the strange thing is, it was constant and there's no power here because we're in a cemetery. So let's find out what's going on. First of all, I'm just going to get this rigged right up quickly. This Why is our infrared. Somebody's just asked what's going on. Right now, we're doing a live ghost hunt in a haunted cemetery in Liverpool. Okay. What I want to do is just flip this camera around. Okay. Just to... I don't know how to do any of this. Ah, there we go. Some uh, infrared. So now you guys can see what we can... Well, what we can't see. Let's just get focused. On the infrared. Okay, let's go around the tree. Okay. Whoops. <laughs> this is going to be Bear hard, with us here. It? Let's go yeah. forward. So right there you can see uh, a steeple. That's the church. The church that's here. We may actually go over to the church uh, later on and do a little seance around it because once we investigated the church we knocked on it and it actually knocked back yeah and the church is empty and it's been abandoned since 2000 no 1996 yeah sorry. absolutely it's really really old so what we're going to do now is we're going to i think we should call out to start with yeah we get some equipment of the box yeah do you think? i think we should go sorry. straight on so if we see anything we'll just throw the infrared on it and let's see what we can see yeah but i think we should get Investigate first yep. this hotbed of activity with the K2. Because every time we use the K2 in here, it goes off. And um... oh my god, what was that? It was me. No, 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 no. It sounded like a bike, you know, like a, a push bike. There's nobody here. Hmm? Do you hear it? Yeah. Just have a look around. Let's pan this camera out so we can see it. Our names are Bex and Sean. Oh, hello. This is the K2 meter. Yep. We're just going to head into the... Uh, can you hear yeah, that? Can, yeah. Every time we speak to the camera, there's something right behind us. When we turn round, there's nothing, there's there. nothing there. Should we head... Over, over so we can get this K2 candles? flashing. Yeah. yeah, okay. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to walk over towards our candles. What is um, it? What is it? This K2 meter. You explain the K2 meter. This measures um, electromagnetic energy. So, if you put this, for example, near a microwave, to even if it's switched off, as long as there's power to it, it will go off. But in their electric electricity, it should go off. Sometimes it doesn't, bizarrely. Um, however, um, we're in the middle of cemetery so nothing should go off hi there pitch black investigations so we're just gonna see if we can find where the uh, hotbed is in the middle now this is believed to be connected with witchcraft isn't it it is it is indeed and the witches so if we find out pinpoint really fast I hope. yeah let's pinpoint this quickly um oh my god it's i can't believe how cold it is tonight and it's foggy what's the question i can't see Hello, Hello Sean. Jennifer. Oh, can you write that again? Because I yeah. couldn't see. We missed that one. Be careful. Be we, careful. Will. we will. We will. We have so our protection around us. Um, what's this one? I'm supposed to be at I'm work. I'm supposed to be at work. Get back to work. <laughs> okay. Okay, so... Um, it's... We've not got to it yet. I just want to walk Do you in... feel that? I did, yeah. I'm As just... we're getting deeper into the cemetery. It was just a weird feeling. Yeah, this is okay. Hello, Sean sure. and Bex. Cold night. Hopefully, get some cracking evidence. Yeah, hopefully, Thank you. hopefully, as we're getting deeper into the cemetery already, it's feeling a little bit eerie. I don't know if just it's because turn we're in the cemetery. Just to see if I can see. Oh, 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 look, oh, oh! Look, look! Ah, look. Oh, I missed it. Right, it will go there off again. Go. It will go up. There we look, go. Look, this is weird. It's the, right. the air bit. As we get Let lower. As we get lower to the ground, it, it goes off, which is... It, did, it went did off. Hear, did you hear that? Hello? Behind you? It's not behind us. 
it's not. There's nothing there. Look, look, yeah. look. Oh, well, look. This was going off then. Oh, sorry, that's my cold hand. Did anybody shaking. see that go off? Behind you, I can see nothing. <laughs> no, we can't see that. Yeah, it's really, really way. black. I can slip, sw uh, flick this infrared. Oh, look. This keeps so going off. The K2 off. meter keeps going off. Um, and the K2 meter will go off when there's a spirit Through behind near. us. Okay. Okay, Let's okay. go behind us. How do you flip what, what I'll this? do, I'll just get rid of this key to a sec. That was some fantastic K2 activity, wasn't it? It was amazing. It happens all the time, and we couldn't pinpoint why it actually happened. No. Um, it, it's there. It's it, You saw it happen on the camera. Because what does the K2 actually measure? It's electro... Electromagnetic energy. And with us being inside yeah. that cemetery, yeah. there's nothing there no. that could have been there's causing this activity. No. So for us, a fantastic, a fantastic piece of evidence. Really is. Let's jump back onto it. Right. Should we put the REM pod on the floor? Uh, on that box? Do you think? An angle, yeah. Because yeah? we need the guys to be able to see. Yeah. Have I've we got... got an EMF meter? Yeah, I've got an EMF. Do you, do you want us to use an EMF, do you? Somebody wants an okay. EMF. Yeah. I'll just put the singing bowl there. Okay. So we've got. We've also got a singing bowl, like Sean just said. Hi. So what else do you want us to use tonight? If we've got the equipment, we'll use it. All right, this is the REM pod. Can you see it? If so I just, can it's going off it. mad now, purely because, because I've got it out of the box. Yeah. So what you do is reset it. Like that, hopefully. And it shouldn't go off. Now, what the idea of this um, is if something comes close to it, it'll light up and go off and make that random noise. Yeah. Um, and we've also got the K2 here. And somebody asked for the EMF, yeah? EMF, yeah. So hopefully the REM pod will go off and we have the single bowl, we have a K2 meter, and we're currently getting the EMF meter for you guys. Um, which is currently reading a zero level, you can just see there. I'll be back live on today. Yeah. Brill. So, if that does go off, obviously, um, it's got a light on it and it'll also make a, a buzzing noise if it goes over. So. Can, can you hear that? What can you hear? Can you get that camera on so we can turn this around so everybody can see? Yeah. Just to see if we can see anything over there. Whereabouts are we going? Catch you in five. Right, just over there. How do you turn this camera around? Just, I just heard something. I'm just going like to focus. I'll zoom in. You can hear something as it sounds like it's walking towards us, and then it stops. You just know when do you look up. Just to check, there's nobody there. God, it's so hard to control. This. Which, oh yeah, that's like I think that's street, street lights, lights in the distance the trees. and the big bright light you can see probably coming from Aintree or somewhere. Okay. Definitely something there without a doubt, yeah. Feels like it. What, what do you see? see? What do you see? Sorry, I'm shaking the camera. Okay, let's do the seance then. I see dead people. Okay. Let's do the seance. Okay. Okay, we're back. Right, so are we going to prop this camera up? <laughs> I'll hold it a bit lower so we can see it. Yeah. But we can actually adjust it so we can see all the equipment. Probably. Right. Let's have so. a look. 
I'm going to hold this K2 meter just in case it goes off whilst we're doing the seance. Okay, so you can see we've got candles, the K2 and the Ren. Mm -hmm. And what we'll do first, it's so noisy. If, um, yeah, it's very noisy, isn't it? Yeah, it's just like something's there. But if you just hold that there, I'll just go with a singing bowl just to get the energy up. Okay, so the singing bowl is believed to change the vibrational um, energy and therefore letting the spirits communicate easier with us. Okay. Is anybody there? Ginge, are you there? Every time we've used this in the past, we've had something come through from it. Yeah. Okay, ready? I'm going to go one more time. Hello? Are you there? Did you hear that? That was a big bang behind us. Yeah, yeah, and the yeah. candle's gone out as well. The candle's candle gone out because it's windy. The big bang. The big bang. It certainly was. I'm just going to put that two meter down. Okay. Is anybody here that's with us now? Come forward. Can we communicate with us? Come near the REM pod, set it off like that. Come and Come. speak to us. Tell us your story. Tell us how you passed and why you wander these grounds tonight. Can you communicate with us? Come close to us. And if you do, we can see your energy. Guys, what do you want us to ask? Yeah, go on. What do you want us to ask? This is your investigation as well. Scout saloons. <laughs> we are scout saloons. Mental. Well, he's not. Yeah. Fake. Did you hear yeah, that? Yeah, totally fake. Completely fake. That's why we're faking all the activity. And as you can see, it's pretty quiet, which does mean that... Did you hear that? What was it? It just sounds like somebody's getting closer to us. Every time we do something, it sounds like somebody's getting closer. Yeah. Well, when we did the uh, setup before, when we set it up, checking out all the location, we heard walking. And so I went and checked it out because Bex could hear it. Yeah. And then when I checked out, he was walking. What sort of questions do you normally ah, get asked? Anything you want? Anything you want. Do you want to communicate with the spirit tonight? If you do, write it down and we'll ask them out. Yeah. We'll communicate with for them you. and ask them for you. What we want to do tonight is involve you guys at home into our investigation. Okay. There you go, again. Did you hear that? Yeah. Walking towards us. Yeah. Can you hear it? I don't think you'll pick that up on this audio. That's... that's talking. Shh. Hello? Did you hear it? Yeah. Okay, come come forward. I'm just going to take this light and shine it over there because I do think there's yeah, somebody walking. Should we spin the camera around? Yeah. Can you see that? I know. can't see anything. Can you see it's so dark. So I've got it spun round. Let me just focus it. Okay. Hello? It's over by the church. There's something over by the church. Yeah. You're kidding me. Yeah. I've just seen a person by the church. What do you want to do? Do you want to go over? Yeah. Should we have a look? Actually, I don't actually want to go over. No? It's, cool. it's pitch black on here now, though, because we're not... Can you see that? Try it. Aim it to the church. OK, hold on. There was a flat on the door. You can't see There's anything. There's absolutely no way you can see that. That's you need that, uh, light, that camera <coughs> on Let's for them. Let's go over. Well, in fact, yeah, I'll turn the camera. Right, I'll just hold shine this. Shine yourself one second. And, um. Okay. Yeah. Oh. There you go. Right. As I was looking over there with the uh, the, the light, I heard something. I saw a tall, dark figure, I don't know and that. I saw a flash on the door of the church. What it was, I don't know. We'll go over and investigate. Let me. Uh... Oh, it's okay, cold. Okay, yeah. yeah. Right. What we're going to do is going to flip the camera around so you can see infrared. Right. 
and I hold that. See so what double tap the screen? Yeah. Put that under your arm. Okay. Oh, that one's set, guys. Stable for you guys. So there's the church. Imagine if it's a clown. Oh my god, I'd run. Oh god, uh, yeah. So let's just head over. Can you hear it? Right by the church. If you see anything on here, we should be able to pick it up. You're lighting it up, yeah? Can you see that better? Does it make it better? A little bit, but it's just shaky when we're going over. Sorry it's so shaky, guys. It's... Obviously we're walking. Yeah. Okay. Which way we? This is pan over there, just check. Somewhere over there, man. Let's check it out. Is there anybody there? Can you give us a sign? Oh! God! It was a, it's a notice board. It's a notice board. Notice board. Can you tell us your name? Speaking to the camera? Can you show yourself? Come on, come towards us. Can you bang on these doors of the church? Sorry, I just panned out. <laughs> so this is the church, I'll just pan up. You can see it. So the church, it's a fantastic place and tonight we've just seen it. It is and we've had personal experiences there before. We have. And that's why we went back and investigated it and yeah, went live there. Yeah, for you guys. Because we had an experience at that church um, when we didn't have cameras rolling, didn't we? Which yeah. was a, um, was knocks at the door. Yeah, we came up to the church and we put our ears to the church, banged on the church and funny enough, we got bangs back. And it was quite bizarre because the church is derelict and it's been derelict since 1996. So to get bangs back was a... Was an amazing experience. A hair-raising experience. And nobody was there, nobody was inside. So we can only put that experience down to something that was paranormal. Perhaps paranormal activity. Should we jump back in? Let's do it. See, as we, as we keep communicating, as we keep talking, there's more and more knocks and yeah. whistling right in front of us. Let's just see if we can hear anything else come through. Come closer to the door maybe. Yeah. Let's see. Let's just see. Do you hear that? Did that was like a scratch. Scratches on the door. Why there be scratches? I don't know. Hello? Are you there? That's over there. Let's go over. Come no. on. Listen. Listen. Oh, on the door there as well. Yeah. Listen. Right. Bring that camera right in. Okay. When we said that, I heard him, like a voice in there. Did you? Yes, a female voice in there. We can't get in because it's locked. No. Hello? Come to the door! Come on. Speak to us. Again. Yeah. Yeah. Should we get around and just have a look at the other doors? Really? You sure? Just one more. God. I can't see. I physically can't see anything. Let's put that on the wall so we can see. Blinded. 
Can you see anything, guys, on there if I point the light? Nope. There you go. I've turned the light up. Can you see anything now? I can see the church. Yeah. Right. So in no way that we're being disrespectful <coughs> by trying to communicate with the spirits of the church. Um, the witches reside around here. And so we're trying to communicate. That's weird. I could you not? I just saw a Can't shadow. Can you not see on the church? No. no. There we go. Oh, there we go. Where are we? <laughs> <laughs> we two shadows. <laughs> we are now not living. <laughs> We're the ghosts. <laughs> Can you see the door? That's a big, massive front door. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bang on this door again and I'm going to see. I'm going to show you the back. Is anybody there? It's you. Okay. Anyone there? Okay, let's see if it back knocks back. Can you? Knock back on this door three times. I swear I see a figure behind you. I swear I yeah. see something behind you. Shine right torch behind you. Shine the torch. Yeah, that's not where you shine. Yeah. yeah. You see anything over there? Nope. Okay, let's go back to the uh, yeah, okay. ramp garden and stuff. So if we go back to the stump where we've set up our candles, I'm just going to shine that there because I can't see. Uh, we're going to, I think we should do a little call out. A little call out? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Did you hear that? Yeah. yeah. What was the door? That was the door, guys. That was that door over there, the first door that we went to. Should we go back? Do you want us to go back to the door? Let's go back to the door. A growl? When did you hear the growl? Where did you hear the growl? Lee. One minute. Listen, need... listen, listen. I know, I need to shine it round because I think somebody's there. Where? Just all around us. So just... You heard moans. Okay, we're going to go back up to that door, I think. Yeah, come on, look. Oh! Wait, look at that. I thought there was somebody there. There's no. Okay. Okay. Jesus Christ, I can't see. It's really very. <laughs> <laughs> it's like pitch black. Okay. Okay. Hold on a sec. Let me just get that in focus. Okay. So, I'm going to knock on this door again. Does anybody there knock back? Come closer to the door and let's oh, about see. About 30 seconds before the door. Okay. I'm let's gonna come close to the door. If we get anything. Yeah, I heard that, I heard that. <gasps> oh! What? Oh my god. Listen, bring it closer. Listen. There's some writing. Yeah, the tap tap. Can you hear it? Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know if we'll get that. Yeah, I know it's locked, but we're knocking. Yeah. What was knocking? This church, can we say again, this church is an abandoned church. It's been an abandoned church since 1996. And when we did a little seance in this cemetery about three years ago, we knocked... Did you hear that? I did. A moan? Yeah. We knocked on this door three times and a big bang knocked so hard back that the door... You could feel the vibration on the door and that was enough. And we went out and we never came back to it, did we? No. Um, so tonight we're hoping it's going to knock back. Obviously, we know there's nobody there. It's a church. It's like half ten at night. However, we're going to see if it knocks, if something's there, and it's going to communicate with us. Okay. Let's head back over to the uh, equipment, check that, okay. and then let's have a quick look. Yeah. 
can't see what I'm it's walking. It's really, really, really dark. So there was definitely something there. When we went over to the church, there was definitely a noise. There was definitely rustling and there was definitely moans that we could hear. As for over here, it's a little bit tougher. The REM pod was going off intermittently. Um, and also the equipment, we've not been over here, so we don't know if the equipment's gone off or been affected. So what we'll do now is we'll concentrate on that and see if we get anything else. Yeah. Right, K2 has gone off. Does it's that usually go off on its own? It should be on. K2 uh, maybe went I off. Yeah, oh, yeah. Maybe, maybe I switched it off. But okay, so I'm going to hold K2, and if this goes off, hopefully you guys can see it. There we go. I've still got the uh, trusty... So the REM pod's still REM. on. Okay. Okay. So if there's anybody here, we want you... Let's see if we can light it from the side here so we can get the ram. Okay. We want you to walk towards this ram pod, light it, touch it. I'm touching That's Bex that, touching by it. Way, guys. Just, uh, did you hear that? I did hear that. That, that was, was like bells. a massive. What the hell is that? That was like a massive screech, like a woman. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you're gonna call out. Yeah. So if there's anybody here, we've got these devices on here. We've got a K2. We've got the REM pod just there. Please light them. Walk towards them. Make them. Make them go off. You want to be that clever? Light the candles. Yeah. Or set off this EMF meter, which is here as well. Do you hear that? Do you hear that? That could just be a natural whistle. Okay. Okay. sounds really close. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to head back over. What time is it now? I'm too sure. I'm just going to time check. Time check. Finished. Oh, wow. Okay. Cool. It's nearly time for us to be going. Actually. Yes. Um, but what we'll do is we'll call out one last time for Ginge, I think. See yeah, if Ginge is here, see if we can communicate stuff. with Ginge. With Ginge. Um, because we've not had any communication. It's been quite quiet. There's been a few knocks at the church door, but we've not had Ginge. No. So it'd be... Okay. Okay, that That's went off. The That's the REM pod. REM pod. The REM pod there. went off. Ginge, was that you? Was that you that lit the REM pod? Um, it's a pity we didn't have a camera guy tonight. Yeah. It really is. Feed it straight in. Yeah, and then fed it back straight to you guys. It's really cold. Yeah. So and let's go over to the tree. <coughs> I'm coming. Just dodging the stump of the tree. Yeah. Because it is so black, the fog is immense. You just can't see anything. Okay. Hopefully the REM pod will go off, not the REM pod, the K2 and the REM pod. If the REM pod goes off, at least we can hear it from where we are. Yeah. Um, yeah, the tree is warmer. You are. <laughs> it's on fire. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, we've come out. It's bloody cold. And dogs can see dogs, right? Mm. Not seen any dogs. There's like some war going on there. Who's block two? Okay. You'll have to tell us about it later. <laughs> block two. Because can't, we can't see very well. Great investigating, guys. Cheers, Lee. Ginger, it's just it's my really cat. Hard. Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay. Is that the uh, K2 going off then? Uh, I don't know. I wasn't. I was looking at you. Did anybody see that? Can you, can you just Did let us know? Did anybody see the K2 go off? Oh, dogs can see ghosts. I was actually going to bring my dog out tonight. She's a Bernese mountain dog, and I was going to, she's very sensitive, I was going to bring her out tonight, but I decided not to because we had so much equipment to do. Yeah, dogs, I mean, dogs can see spirits and sense spirits. So can, like, cats as well. Yeah. 
Yeah. Hi from France, how are you doing? Hello from France. Lovely to see. Why is the tree purple? Well, the tree is purple because it's haunted. Yeah. No, no, we lit the tree up. We tonight. lit the tree up just so we could see what was going on. Yeah, just to make it look special. Oh, for you guys. oh, oh, KT's going. Oh, God, the yeah, KT yeah, was yeah, going. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, that was good. Okay. Thank you. Let's see, Can you see, see that? that? Yeah. Ginge, was that you? We tried to communicate with you before over there. Can you light? Oh, Ginge! Thank you. Ginge! That must be Ginge. That must be Ginge. Ginge, can you get closer to us? Can you make this REM pod go off? It's not a REM pod, is it? It's no, K2 it's K2, K2 yeah. Do yeah. you know what? I was so watching it on the screen, just waiting for it to go off. I didn't even think. Oh, it's going off, it's going off. Thank you. Can you take it all up to red? All the way wow. right up to the top. Come on, take it right up. Let me just. Thank you. Oh, it did, it did. Oh yeah, thank you. Oh, God. Thank you. This Ginge. is what we were saying before about this activity. Right, let's see if we can do an experiment. Ginge, can you speak into the phone and see if you can say anything? Guys, if you hear anything else... Just let us know let by us writing know. it. But thanks for lighting that. Ginge, say something to us. If it is Ginge, light it all the way to red. In three, two, one. going right up, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Ginge. Ginge is uh, apparently... That? that was footsteps? Yeah, Ginge is apparently a spirit that was... Uh, that died and haunts this, this cemetery. I uh, would love you to be with us. Um, so that's Sue Ginger's. Maybe next time we do something like this, Re maybe ah, we could actually... Red lights and green lights. Yeah, no, the, what it means is that the higher the, the green to the red, means the stronger the energy in terms of like the spirits is really 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 close to us and as you can see it's just going mental i tell you what you know when spirits are meant to get closer you're meant to get colder i, I don't know if it's, it works the other way but i'm really really warm all of a sudden yeah. and we stood outside in the pitch black in the fog i was shaking with the cold before however now i'm really really warm okay it measures Electro has the leaves. Is it? Yeah. It measures electromagnetic what? energy. <laughs> <laughs> that was a leaf. <laughs> would you Look investigate a uh, the catacombs in Paris? Yeah. Oh, we'd love we to do the catacombs to. in Paris. Really would. We'd love to. Oops. Oh, what's this? Live on Periscope just tweeted. Oh, Periscope TV just tweeted. Thank you. Oh, hello. Hello, Periscope TV. Hello, Periscope TV, yes. Yeah, I got shocked then as soon as that came down. I know, the leaf falling on me. I can't believe the activity on this K2 meter. As soon as we say we're going, we walk over to the pink tree and then it to goes end mental. the link, and then the K2 goes off as if to say, no, don't go, I am here, I'm just watching you, I'm getting warmed up, and I'm going to give you some action on the K2 meter. Oh, I see what you're saying. Do you, do you, when you're writing about that, I know you had a question then about the K2. It just half came up because it, there's oh, a lot of questions coming in. But as you can see, it's going right up to red yeah. continuously, which is indicating that somebody's with us and just possibly just watching and interacting with us. Yeah. And we were going to wrap and go in and get a nice warm cup of coffee. However... I don't think we can. I don't think we can, though, when this activity is going on. I think when the activity dies down, then Then maybe we, we will. In. But if you've got a question that you'd like to ask, just fire it over now and we'll be happy to answer it. And... Uh, this love heart thing's fantastic. There's something on your shoulder. Whose shoulder? Don't say that. Don't say that. Whose shoulder is something on? <laughs> what was that then? I heard that? that. That wasn't a leaf. That was a footstep. That was a thud? Yeah. Hi, Bex. Hi. Hello. Hello. Did you hear that yeah, though? Just, that just see that. Is that still going off? Yeah. Yeah? Heard a growl from my earphones. Brilliant. No, you didn't. Oh. Heard it always sounded like someone's stomach. Not sure if it's camera, but it looks like flashing behind you. Really? It doesn't it's seem so to be anything hard. there. It's so hard we'll to see. We'll watch this footage and we will so, save it. Yeah, you guys are our eyes tonight because it's so hard If you hard see something behind us, then you let us know for sure. 
and it's just we're just amazed that this activity of the K2 is just staying. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's gone. <gasps> Ginger, you there? Or is somebody else there? A new spirit, perhaps? If there's a new spirit, light it up and take it all the way to red. That okay. was bizarre how it's just stopped. Especially when somebody heard a growl on here as well. Yeah. Are we What's this say? He's gone home now. He's gone home yeah, now, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's gone over for a cup of coffee. Did you hear that? Did yeah. Fucking leaves falling. Fucking making his jump. <laughs> okay. On the tree. Okay. Check that. Oh my god, I know what that was. That was a fucking door. That was the door. That was the church door. Now they're bolted. That was the door. They're bolted. That's really freaking weird. That was a big slam. Yeah, and that K two's just flashing. It started again now. Look. Oh god, Jay. Are you a male spirit? Take it to red. Take it to red if you're a male spirit. Light it all the way up to red. Oh. Or keep it lit constantly for a, a few seconds. If you are a male spirit, light it right up. Oh, oh, did, oh did that it. did. It did. Can you tell us your name? People are listening at home. Can you tell them your name? Let them hear your voice. Oh my god, look how. Go check it out, we're with you. Yeah, yeah but you can't save us. <laughs> Should we go and check it out? What? The door? The door? The what? <laughs> Somebody's at the door with us. No. Okay. Is it gone off? Is it stopped flashing? Can you flash if you are over the age of 30? Did I did. The fuck is that? I don't know. Just, <gasps> oh, anybody here? No. Are you over the age of 30? We didn't see that flash. Did anybody see the flash? George. You got the word George. George? Okay. I had a George pop in my head. Okay. Somebody else had it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. George. Somebody else got it. Spirit said, my name is Jeff. Name George. Okay. Are we... And, and the, that's and the flashing. Going off. Is this George? Look at that. Tap, tap. Yeah, tap, tap. Ma and that's tap, flashing tap. as well. Look at this. Are you a male and the age of 45? Come on, light it up for us. Is this George? I hear that. We can't find anybody's gravestone. It's really pitch black and there's hundreds of graves. But we can check out for you tomorrow. Yeah, we 34. Are you 34? I can hear somebody. That's people. Sorry, I had to... I'm sorry, I've got to take the light away. Somebody's over there. People. That's really weird. Can you see anybody? Shit. That's people just walking through. I'm sure. I know, but I don't want to attract people, you see. I don't want to attract attention. Does he have a link with us, then? <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Okay. Okay. No, I just pushing that. I'm just gonna go and uh, really check that. I have the light and, and I get too. Okay, I won't be a sec. Okay, so while Sean's gone off, oh, bring the singing bowl. While Sean's gone off, I'm gonna continue to hold the K2 meter. George, is that you? Okay, it would have to go off, wouldn't it? Now I'm on my own. Um, is that you on the REM pod? Oh my god. The K2 is going mad. Okay, the K2 is going mental. George, is that you? <laughs> Sorry. Um, have we got any other questions? Never split up. That is so true. Never split up. And what does he do? He goes off and splits up. The K2 is going mental, it really is. George, take the lights higher. Take them to red. Have you got any other questions that you want me to ask George? If so, 
fire them through and I'll ask them out there. George, we're paranormal investigators and we want to communicate with you. We want to know your story. Look at the... It's going to red. Oh, thank you. Oh, it's so hard to read. And then call out at the same time. There we go. There's okay. Sean to take the camera back. back. We're paranormal investigators, George, and we just want to know your story. Is that going off stuff? I'm just getting it in Yeah, camera. it's going off. I've got the singing bulb, but... Still going off, guys. I, that is going off. Let me just try it in shot. Two activity isn't amazing. Amazing. Tonight. So what's happening now? Um, we're just telling George who we are. We're just there we go. What have you got? I got the singing bowl. Okay. I'm gonna have to just shove this under your arm for one sec. Okay. And I'll get it going. Definitely need a cameraman next time. George, are you there? Communicate with us via this equipment. Ooh, really? yeah. I saw that. George, can you say your name clearly into our camera? Did anybody okay, hear does anything? Any, yeah, can, if anybody can hear it. I know. It freaked us out. It freaked us, yeah. It's every time you do that. Okay, what I think we should do in a minute is we should show people around with the um, infrared. Yeah, the infrared, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's I'm going to get the infrared, infrared, it's literally camera. just next to us, so I'm just not going to be so splitting up can, this time. <laughs> just so you guys can see, and we can also see a little bit more with the infrared. Uh, the K2 hasn't stopped, really hasn't stopped. How much was the machine? Which machine? K2, I think. I think you can pick them up for about 30 quid now, can't you? <laughs> Look at more. this. Look, you put it down here and it's still going off. You can just I see the light. I don't know if we should move. Are you? It's going mental. I don't think we should move, no. Not now. But we'll show you guys round yeah, let's the just... cemetery. So if I double tap That's this. It. If I double tap this. Yeah, you... Uh, you got the camera. And, uh, it's that way, isn't it? Yeah. So this is the tree that we are stood by. George has a message for Bex, apparently. We haven't got one with us at the minute, but if you can hear anything coming through the camera, just let us know. Keep it over there for a bit, because I do think something is behind us. Oh, hi, are you by the cabin crew? Yeah. Did you hear that? Right over there. Did, yeah. There's like footsteps. Yeah. There's nothing showing on the camera. That is weird. See, we've not picked up any really any witchy stuff tonight, but we've picked up a lot of uh, other activity. Let me just come back to us for a sec. Is that back enough? No. It'll be a second. <coughs> Trying to do a million different things at once. So hard. Right, so. I'm just going to hold this K2 just in case we have it goes any off action on again. It again. Um, Let me get it on that angle so it's here. There you go. Oh, look I'll at that. Again. Straight away. Again, straight away. Straight away. Okay. Okay, so uh, it's been a good night tonight. We've not had as much activity as we, as would, we would have, have liked. liked. Uh, can you just lift that camera up a little bit more? I'm just trying to see yeah. that. Oh, that's better. Is that better? And then there I can you go. just lift that up to you. Um, we've, hopefully we've communicated with a spirit called George. I don't know if George is Ginge. Are you really excited? Somebody's really excited there. Ah. Oh. Um, we're excited that you're excited and we're excited that you could have joined us tonight. We're excited that we can bring you a ghost investigation and also you can be a part of it. See, as we're talking and trying to wrap this link, there's stuff going ra round, uh, mm -hmm. on around us as, as we speak. The K2 is still, still going, going off. Still going mental. The no. love hearts are coming in, yeah. flooding in. 
But this is the first time we've done a live and we like it because it's so interactive and yeah. we can see what you're saying straight away. What an amazing show guys and thank you very much for getting in touch with us writing those comments and, and the questions to ask out to the spirit tonight. We had an amazing response, didn't we? We had K2 activity, noises, rustling, footsteps even when there's nobody there. It was a really good investigation that we did and that yeah. was of course the Halloween live that we did and this will be the first time for some of you to watch it what will happened. Yeah. Um, but for us it was an incredible experience and that's what we like about these investigations. Yeah. They get better and better and better as we go along. And that's down to you guys at home for connecting with us. And staying in touch. Yeah. Now our backstage crew investigated Leeds Museum. They did. Um, four floors of terror, um, which was amazing. It was intense and Ghost Dimension has done a paranormal investigation there before. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and that was amazing. Um, but our, our crew did a, an investigation there I think it's about time maybe we let you see it. Yeah, let's jump over and see that. Fantastic. Well, we're live here tonight from the Lee City Museum. Fantastic building with a lot of history and a lot of artefacts in it. So let's hope we get some good evidence, guys, tonight. Stay with us. Give us your comments if you see or hear anything and follow us through the evening. Want to introduce yourself? Yes, I'm Jason. I'm Hi. part of the team. I'm Julie. I'm Amanda. And I'm Lee. And we have got just Roger on camera videoing as well at the moment. <laughs> we'll spin you around and show you him later. So, shall we move into there and start the investigation, guys? Yep, let's go. <laughs> so this is supposedly the most haunted part of the building. There's a part of this room we can't show you because it's got a live, well, not live mummy, a dead mummy in it. It's due to the human remains, we're not allowed to, not to film that. Yeah. So we're going to move to just outside where the mummy is and then we will start our vigil. We've got a K2 here, just on the side. That'll help us pick up any Don't forget energy. Again, if you see anything on the camera or you will hear anything, make sure you let us know. You got that wrong? Yeah, I had something yeah, behind you guys. Something behind us then. If I even start, that's good. If that was you, could you do it again please? It does look very different with the lights on. It does, doesn't it? I said it feels very disorientating in here. Yeah. From how it felt earlier with the lights on. <laughs> Could you let you know if you're with us, make a sound. A lot of sounds coming from over here. Sounds like the iron is somehow. I don't know if it's like the wood, so I'm contracting and sitting there. There's a lot of wood in here. Well, if you're here, come towards us, please. No one here is going to hurt you. Lee here can sense you. Are you picking anything up, Lee, while we're out of here? Yeah, it's, um, it feels like we're being constantly watched, but I wouldn't say surrounded, but you know how somebody like, comes to one side, has a look, and then goes, runs around the opposite side, comes to this side and has a look? Yeah. I think this could be the, the little boy. Ah, oh, right, so it's playing, it's oh, just yeah. being playful. Okay, little boy, have you got a name for the little boy? Uh, yeah, it's Christopher. Okay. He's uh, around 10, 11 years old. Oh. You want to come forward and speak to us, Christopher? Play hide and seek if you wish. The light up over there just went kind of blacked out as if somebody had gone across. 
See the light in the doorway? Yeah. It was like somebody went across, you could see the light in. Is that you, sweetheart? You want to come play that spy? We're not going to hurt you. We'll play with you if you'd like to play. Come forward, don't be afraid. You can talk to us. Come towards my voice. Come into the room. How old do you think he is, Lee? If I was to put an exact age on it, I would say 11. Okay. Can you make a noise on something, please? Can you use our energy to try and show yourself? I feel more. Did you hear that? Yeah, yeah. like a. Uh, like I feel more that side than this side. You see what it's doing? You're moving, it's like you really said, you're moving drawn. to one area. The minute we get drawn to one area, it? it's leading us back. It's doing exactly like I said, you know, going from one side to the other and getting us to that go. Really it was like something had been moved. Yeah. It was like a squeak. It was like something on the floor. Who was talking then? I heard footsteps. I heard somebody talking. Something here behind us. Wow. Does anyone want to go in with the mummy? Anyone? Yeah. No? I'll do it. Are we going? We can't, we can't actually... We can't deal. film in there, we can put someone in I'll there. I'll go in there if you want. But you can go in there, Lee, and let us know what... Oh, yeah. Can you feel it? Yeah, straight away, instantly, it's like the energy in this room is just... It's just making you spin. Right. Quite come on, hard. come towards us then, please. Is that you who just moved something? Somebody that, just breathed in my ear. Was that you, Lee? Yeah, somebody just breathed in my ear. To my right hand side. Okay. It was like more of a blow in the ear in the breath. You know, in the breath. I'm drawn to that pen there. I keep thinking somebody's popping the bed down that corner. Do you want to move yeah. down there? <laughs> Lee, we're just walking down here and just let us know if you see anything. Okay. Bobbing the red round to yeah. have a look. If I was a child, that's what they probably do. We should go with what Lee said about bobbing backwards and forwards to see what, what, what moved though. There's nothing here that could move. Mm -hmm. So it's all it's all bits of stone stuff in there. So everything's gone. Come on, come forward, come on, keep it with me. Not here to harm you. It's like two different parts, isn't it? Like the, it does, yeah. That's very, it's true. That's very peaceful. Yeah, yeah. And, and feels nothing up there, but this side is, I don't know, it's like it's more intimidating, it's more yeah. things. The atmosphere is definitely changing in there now. Is it? It feels very uncomfortable. Shall I go in and see how I feel? See how you feel I'll try one by one and just see what. It feels like you're becoming very vulnerable on your own in there. That's why I've just left. So that don't feel like anything nice in there then? No, this feels quite negative in there now. It's like it's showing authority, it wants us to So you don't, you don't think Christopher comes as far as this? No, he won't. He won't come into the middle. He stays to the edges. Okay. He'll come as far as this side here and yeah. the back there, but he won't come into the middle. Okay. So he just runs around these bits here. Yeah. That's why he was getting is, the, is the taps. Nervous to go in. Right? Yeah, he, he won't go. He won't go near this. Even he doesn't like it. Okay. What do you say? What he sees? I think he's just because he's a young boy. Amanda, are you walking then? No, I'm perfectly still. I've got a bit of a headache, though. I've got footsteps again, then. Because he's a young boy, he's... Please count off, sir. Yeah. Okay, footsteps. So Lee was picking up on footsteps of a small boy, or a presence of a small boy. Yeah, he certainly was. Interesting. And it was an, amazing to see that yeah. happening. And Lee is picking up these spirits, and this boy, you know, seems to be there mm. at this museum. Especially because when we went and did Leeds, 
we had similar experiences, didn't we? We did. Um, and if you've watched Ghost Dimension yeah. at Leeds Museum, you'll see yeah. that these experiences are, are very similar. It's like reoccurring, isn't it? Yeah, he's done a fantastic job. And especially with hearing the footsteps as well. Yeah. This is, is unbelievable, mm. the amount of activity. It really is. That's happening. Let's jump back. Let's go straight in. I'm getting a cold draft now on my right side. It's like he's running around. He's constantly running back and forth. He comes to that side and it's like behind the wall, whatever's there. He'll tap on there. Oh. He'll come round to this side, do it again. Is he happy though? He, he's, I think he's lost. Oh. He feels kind of lost. Well, I'm getting a there is a sadness with him. I'm getting, I'm getting a really cold dry my legs now. Because you are saying that about him. Mm. This other one, the more negative feeling, that's definitely associated with the, the mummy. Okay. So you know you've got what, the I think we should try. The two. He's obviously back from, the, back from someone holding the camera, but just one of us had the camera on me in the room on his own. Because when I was in here on my own earlier, I felt more then mm -hmm. than what's happening now. Do you want to leave it with Roger? Yeah, we'll do Roger first, and yeah. then... Um... <laughs> so it's just moving behind you, Jason, I swear, I swear. Roger, you didn't move in there, did you? No, I'm still stood in front of the moment. So it's just moved right on. I don't think there's nothing to reflect from my side. I was still side. watching, yeah. Jason. You yeah. were like some... In fact, I thought that were a glass cabinet in it, is it? No, it's fine. Someone just moved, it looked like a reflection of someone just moving. That's, what, that was the... That's what I saw in that reflection there when I was stood in there. I think that was interesting, though, that we said we'll go along. Maybe. Let's do it. Yeah, I think Let's we should. Let's do it. Roger, do you want to go along? Roger, first? do you want to go first, mate? If you want. Yeah, right. We're going to pass the camera to Roger and we're going to leave. This is, Can't. Can't go in. This is Roger. Roger is going to do the first lone regional. Thank He's very you. brave. Because um, what I, I was up here on my own earlier and I felt there was more going on when we were on his own. Them guys are now going. You can see them all going in the background. Right, you've got my attention. I'm on my own. Can you talk to me? Can you say anything? Make a noise. Can you tap on something? Supposed to be a little boy in here. Do you want to make a noise for me so I can uh, see you, hear you? I can hear whispers. If the priest is in the other room that we're not allowed to video, do you want to come out and talk to me? I mean, you know I am. Oh, can go down here. Do you want to come out and talk to me?
come on, you've got my full attention. Whoa! Thank you for that. A big bang. Yeah, it was a big bang as well. It sounded like the, the tomb. It came from the tomb. But at the same time you went up, we stood up. We yeah, we it made me jump. The noise came from the tomb. We heard a child laughing exactly the same time as you heard the bang. What kind exactly. of bang A proper pff, like wow. a like a, that coffin had been lifted up. Really? And boom, back down. Roger had a bang. Did you hear the child laughing? No. Roger heard a bang at the same time. We both stood up because we heard a child went, <laughs> and then he went, he went, whoa, and he went back. Who was that sitting in? Who was that sitting in a room and we got? No. Noises. <gasps> Got noises coming from wow. the room. Do you know what it was? Somebody said to me in my head, out with you. It sounded like the tomb had lifted up no. and then banged back down. It's going in, cha -ching. <laughs> really? I'll go in. But someone hold the camera for me. Yeah, Turn it back down for you. My head go out with you. This was hold it there. Oh, is that a I'm going to go We're getting something. so much activity now. This building. Is amazing. It's the first time it's been done. You don't want us here. And it's just so active. We're just getting so much stuff. Tell us why. Well, why don't you want us here? Did you make that bang? No. No, but I'll get in pain and turn the right hand side. You got my attention. Oh, I feel. I, I actually feel quite anxious just from my back here, which isn't like me. Come on, make the bang again. We're not here to hurt you. We come to see you. Touch me, or move me. Can you do something for us? Something big. Tap on something. Like that. Can you copy that, please? Are you alright, Amanda? Yeah. Come and touch one of us. On this side. That was you, we just heard laughing. Can you come in here? Could you sing us a song? That's exactly what I meant about the little boy. You know, you'll go to an area and you'll get your attention to come back to this. And in the meantime, what you're doing is you're following the knocks and bangs, but as you're coming into this central part, you're getting the energy from this. It is, it's like it's playing games with it. Mm -hmm. So you're being blasted with the noises from the sides, and then as soon as you come into the centre, you're getting this feeling from there as well. Well, this is the first time you can talk to people like us. So now's your chance. Come say hello to us, Christopher, come on. Hold my hand, don't be frightened. We've all got children, we're not going to hurt you. Yeah, we're all daddies and mummies. Come to our He's not residual energy though, is he Lee? He's actually he's tied to this bird. Is he tied to this bird? Is it? Well, no, the little boy actually visits, it's like he's he's attached to an object. Okay. The, the male, the, this Cuthbert that I got earlier, he stepped into the room literally okay. about a minute ago. If that's you, come forward please. Come say hello to us. There's no one there. whispering? Yeah. Like, uh, I heard what sounded like somebody whispering and it was like, you know, that kind of... The camera keeps going out of focus like you're moving about and nobody's moving. Really? Yeah. I think we should just keep really still for a couple of, for about a minute or something. Mm. There's a lot going on at the moment.
just Roger. Well done. Whistles, bangs, footsteps, knocks, everything. You had Especially a lot. that big bang that you just heard then. Yeah. It was amazing. Yeah. Um, I mean, the, the activity and the amount of evidence that that team has picked up during that investigation there is incredible, isn't it? It's always a blessing to work with them guys, and it just shows you that they can do a live. And it just shows you that you don't have to be myself and Bex to pick up on these spirit presences. You can go out there and you can do it. Yeah. Um, now, we did ask everybody to send in some footage. We did. Um, and we've picked out some of the footage that we quite like. Mm -hmm. um, and we've chosen again to show um, Pitch Black Investigations, well done guys, at Mains Fourth Miners Hall. Yeah, you did a fantastic job last time, so it's only fair that we show some stuff from you guys this time. So, shall we go to it? We shall. Well, the did that one lock again? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I could have swung it into my door. <laughs> right. We're just coming back in the other door because the door has locked on us. Again. That's impossible. Straight. <clears throat> if you can see. Something has actually turned the bolt from. See the No way. That one we locked. Right, tell you what then. Oh, That's what happened. Uh, Debunks. 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 <laughs> we'll get some tape. No, it is. No, we'll just use that door. Right. Keep it close then. Just keep it. Keep it shut. Right. Debunked. This is the hall. Try and pan you around a bit. Piano. Yeah. Put the piano on. Should we do it? Um, should we set the echo box up? Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna put this on as well. Um, it looks like there's like a mist on the stage, doesn't it? It does, isn't it? And it's not even that cold tonight. Oh. So I'll just. Someone walk, walk on the stage. It just looks like it's frozen. Why am I always a duck on that, does it? And that has it's like frozed. Frozen. Can you see it? No, it's like froze. Probably because I've uh, turned it off and on. <coughs> I'll run it again. Is it like one? Oh, we're not doing a spirit box, are we? We're doing an echo box. <laughs> 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 I've, got the I've got the speaker out now. Believe it or not, we are professionals. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't got it on yet. I'm you. Basically. Yeah. Come back now. Health and safety. Ah, it's live now. You ready to go? There you go, stick man. Hey! Right, it, working. Yeah. <laughs> <It's sh> <laughs> you made it? <laughs> He's not like that, were you? <laughs> <laughs> right, we're going to be running that go box. So. There we go. Should we start it? Yeah. Yeah. You ready, Sean? Yep. I'll tell the phone, you know. I'll tell the phone. I just put it on Michael there. Michael? They did it straight away, Michael. <laughs> Who's there, Michael? Hey, hey, with us. What? Why? I said why. Oh. We've come to speak to you, to visit you. Yeah. yeah. For some reason, you keep going blurry. There's a mist. Do you know something? I, I thought something had just touched my hair, but I didn't know whether it was just like, you know, like my hair moving. Yeah, yeah. Is anybody in here with us? You. Yes. Yes, you. Can you see us? Why do we think watch? 
Could you use the device on this piano and let us know your name? Can you tell us your name? Were you the caretaker of this place? Come on, are you in here with us? I just heard movement over That's where I behind you. Are you up on the balcony? Yes, I am. <laughs> Why don't you come down? Have you come to watch the show? Can you tell us your name? Come on with me, you know how we just want to communicate with you. Can you let us know your name, please? Did you see the light? I see the light. I thought it was Steve, to be fair. Did you come with the light down here? It's really bright. Oh. Are you on the stage? Yes. Are you part of the show? Yeah. Do you think you can show yourself to us? Try and show yourself. Just walk across the stage so we can see you. Is that moving? The camera's moving. The camera's definitely moving. Watch it in reference to the side. It's moving. Simple. Right. Now twisted. The edge of the camera screen is about the edge of the white thing, sir. But it's Steve. 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 The metal box just said Steve. Yeah. Is that your name? Or is Steve the one you want to communicate with? Oh, Can you tell? Can you tell how many is with you in here? Is there more than one in here? Can you come onto the stage? If you come onto the stage, we'll be able to see you on this screen that we've got here. Come and try and show yourself. Come on, come and stand right in the middle of the stage for us. Yeah. Who that? It sounds like someone's walking with you. Yeah. Like, no, like the soft. Like, yeah. Like the pressing of the boards. Yeah, it's like the of the boards, yeah. yeah. It's freezing in there. It is freezing, you're right. We must have been colder. Is that you? Are you affecting the temperature? See the, uh, pst, see the light with your own eyes? Did you wear? On the stage. Oh. When me and Sean were setting up, and we set this up, we stood here with this. And it was a light come from there, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, it was like a, a line of light come down there. Can you tell us the name of the building that we're in? Do you belong here? I think there's some more modules. What right. up on the balcony? No, from the door. Mm. From what door? The door? From that. From this door. From the door that was right. I looked there, I'll just put this in there. 
I don't know about you, but I find it really uneasy. Yeah. It's horrible in there. Nope. 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 Come on, come to our doors. You know me, I'm not one to get here. Camera's gone right out of focus. Come on, use the second box on there. Piano, tell what your name is, please. Gone really out of focus, Steve. It happened before, but it looked like the mist came in front of us. Yeah. There, it sorted itself out now. Yeah, but it was like a mist that had caught. Will I rewind that there? Why? I don't know if something Maybe. was on the stage and went behind one. Ten to one. Yeah? Uh huh. Four. It looked dark. Really? Yeah. Come on, if that was you. It was really good. Come on, can you show yourself again? We've got a device on the top of the camera here. If you're going to stand in front of it, we'll actually be able to see you. Communicate with you. Can you do that for us, please? If we haven't introduced the place, it's Mainsforth Hall in Ferry Hill in Durham. Can you hear that over there again? Yeah. yeah. Can you hear that? And this is the scariest place we've ever been. <laughs> this is the only place that we've actually seen a full-bodied apparition, and there was more than one person witnessed it at the time as well. Yeah. Mm. I always feel really uneasy in this place. I'll not walk around that by myself. Yeah. No way. None of us will. <laughs> I feel like there's just something standing in the shadows at the back, like moving from side to side. I can see something on them. If you can see what's in this room, how many if, if there is a yeah. house? Six. Three. 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 Yes, Steve. Don't say three with Steve. Yeah. That was a Did you get that camera? I might have. Okay. Was that a flash? Because it cut off like a full on white flash. So is there three of us and Steve? get the feeling like there's a dark energy in here. Yeah. That's why I don't like it. I hate the place, I, honestly. I love coming here, but when I'm here, I'm like, why the hell did we come? I'll come away from there. K2. 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 It's just K2. said K2. <laughs> I heard that myself. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Whoa. What? Who heard that bang? I heard it. I thought it sounded like it was downstairs. That wasn't me. It was a bang on the top of the tank. Can you see the green lights when I'm holding? If you could. That? That, I heard that was that? That was that noise. What was that you had, Sean? That was it? That's exactly what it was. I thought it was behind me. Can you see this device I have in my hand? It's got a little green light on. If you come next to this, it'll flash. Just so we know that you're around us. Whoa! No, what was that? What was that? Right, we'll walk over here. I want to see what that noise was. That noise came from in here. Bearing in mind we've had the door locked. I know we debunked it, but... 
<laughs> what was that? It was the footsteps over there. What did you say, yeah? It was like three, like, like something running. I saw something run, but it was over here. It was beside well, us. Look, look, the K2's gone off as well. What was that? Was that a scream? Right. It was always being really quiet. Let's have a listen. Turn the lights off. The K2 is going off. The A is only us in the building. There's the four of us, and that's it. Do you like it when we're scared? It's answering us, look at the, the K2. Where's the K2? You got your hand. <clears throat> right, we're going to go downstairs. We'll grab a bit more equipment and we'll come back up to see what we can gather again. But for now, we'll settle on the nerves and we'll come back. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Sorry for screaming. <laughs> <laughs> so far, so good, guys. That's amazing. You got some really good evidence. The camera going blurred all the time. That that's really really, really weird. weird. Um, again, another fantastic investigation. Brilliant, yeah. Uh, so far, so good. And um, we're looking forward to seeing the next part in just a sec. Um, but while we're here, let's just tell you guys, if you ever want to get involved with Ghost Dimension, mm -hmm. send over your footage, get onto our website and send it in. And we may use your uh, paranormal investigation footage. It would be nice to get some fresh, fresher faces on yeah. the lives so yeah please send do it in. send it in and we enjoy watching it we do so let's go back to the final part now yeah pitch park investigation pitch park right that's our trip to Mains was nearly over and we're going to go back upstairs to where it all began <laughs> I'm just going to see if we had the same activities before see if we can find out where it is let's go You sure we can get up this way? Yeah. The light's still on in the hall. We'll turn you off. Oh. Here it is. Look when you turn this off. A oh. dog. Hello. Three parents. Huh? Right. Yeah. <laughs> there he's gone. Is there anyone in here with us? What was that? What? No, I just heard like a moan. Where? Through. Should we follow it? Should we follow it? There, there, stop. Can you see it? No, it's been sink move. I'm sure I'll have caught that on the camera. This is a torch. There was something moving here. Did you hear that? Right, stick to the plan. Let's go up the stairs. This keeps like really badly. 
zooming in and out. As though something's coming right up to the focus on that. Yeah. Just as you Over said the that. Um, course of the night, uh, torches have been drained. The flare has been acting up. Okay. Just as you said to Whoa. Us. You'll definitely catch that on camera. It's like a thud, like a bang. Might have been a seat going down. Yeah. On the feet. Look We had went upstairs. There's me and the last one upstairs. We put the two seats down. The two seats were already down. So we sat in the two seats and there's no other seats down. When these come up, those five seats were down. We were sitting there, so we never heard them actually get put on. Oh. Alright. Let's go. You hear a whistle there? Yeah. That whistle at the end was pretty cool. Do you want to go first? Yeah, yeah. Sure. I'll give us the torch and I'll... That's there first. Oh, Just in. Oh, you I'm struggling. Right? <laughs> That's a fucking can of tea. What the hell? I'm fine. Sure. I had the banging in that corner. Yeah. You are sitting on these two seats together. These are the only two that are down. What was that? That was the lid. The no seat's way. down? That wasn't down. No way. No way. I don't the fact that wasn't down because all of these were flat. I looked before I sat, up, sat down. Well, check on. See, that's a squeak we did, isn't it? The same. It was just like a boom, boom. That? That? that. Do that again? That? Uh, that's what I heard. No, it wasn't. It was softer than that, wasn't it? But that definitely wasn't up. It wasn't down before. Thing is, that was going to be me, you would actually... <laughs> <laughs> the camera would just drop. Right. Because that was you. Right, let's get the spirit box on, because obviously you're attracted to the white noise. <laughs> Tell me how many fingers I've, I've pointed up. Three. How many have you got up? Three. My name's 
me. It is literally freezing up here. It is pitch black, you cannot see anything. I can hear your movement. What? No. I can hear your movement. Get out. Get out. Yeah, I heard that. It's very demonic, that. Come on, 
much that we're not here. We mean no harm. Take the green light on the table, go all the way up to red, please. Now it's gone very calm up here. Yeah. Silent. Like I felt really on edge there. Yeah, so that. Now I won't. What? What? Did you not hear that? No. I heard a thud from below. Something downstairs. Mm -hmm. I think it's messing around with us. Shall we go down? I've gone down, we're up. We're up, 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 we're the way to the bathroom. Do a lesson with everybody. I'll go to the toilet so you can just go down. Make sure Steve doesn't fall with the uh, yeah. camera. Thank you, Owen. Yeah, exactly. I didn't fall. Where did that go? He says, dodgy as that. It was like a, it was like a high pitched voice, like a kid's voice. Really? Mm -hmm. What sounded like quite distant. I, I heard something there. Did you? It was like talking. N Not here. Within us. Oh. Mm -hmm. What I heard was like it was, like it was down in the corridor somewhere. It looked caught on this. Right, come on. We're leaving now. If you want us to leave, do something. Close one of the doors. Close this door and open. Looks like there's something in the window behind you, in the door. Which yeah, of the door. Should we go back downstairs? Yeah. Come on then. Into the light. That's us. 
pitch black. I'm mint with mine as well. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Truly inspiring night tonight. We had uh, our crew, we had us, and we had Pitch Black Investigations, who all did a fantastic job in their investigations. Equally, each had something new and different to bring towards, Ghost you know, dimension. Ghost Dimension. So, it's been a thank great you. Night. It has been a really great night. Thank you, everybody that's tuned in, that's watched this. We really do appreciate you coming and watching our journey. Yeah. Um, with the Ghost Dimension team and we love to do these lives because it shows you um, extra bits of uh, footage and things that we would not normally show you in Ghost Dimension exactly. and of course these lives are longer which means that you can get to watch more evidence and paranormal investigations uncut as well Yeah, and it also gives you guys a voice and, a, and you can show your stuff to the world so please do get in touch with us if you want your live show and we'll do our very best to get it on. So everybody, thank you so much for watching. We enjoyed it. We will see you again soon. Mm -hmm. And if you haven't already seen Ghost Dimension, Tune log in. on and watch it. But for now, bye.